Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Monday, February 8th. And I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, sacred music, and other content are available at FountainChurchTallahassee.org. And join us every Sunday morning at 10 on these beautiful grounds for Drive Up Worship. My scripture today is from 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 40. But everything should be done in a fitting and orderly way. <laughs> this is the word of the Lord. I remember driving through Atlanta over a large portion of my life. And there was an intersection of major highways in Atlanta that the locals called Malfunction Junction. And in my remembrance, they started working on that when I was in college, and I was already an ordained Presbyterian pastor, and I'd already served two churches before it was finally finished. But as is the way of the world, by the time it was finished, it was already hopelessly out of date, and it still can snarl traffic with the best intersections in the country. And this points to one of the failings of our human existence. It's expressed in one of those Murphy's Laws. This one's called Cornford's Law. Nothing is ever accomplished until it is time to do something else. As Presbyterians, we're sometimes accused of being too slow and plodding. But we strive to do everything decently and in order. The problem that we encounter is the same one that plagues humanity. Can we have the vision to see past our immediate set of circumstances? If we are striving after the will and the way of our Lord, our eyes are fixed on eternity, and we're not concerned just with the day-to-day. We don't want to have a successful Sunday worship attendance. No, what we want is to reach people with the joy of the Lord Jesus Christ. We don't want to have a beautiful building. We want to make sure that there will be a place where needs are met. Our own members' needs, their families, but also the community. We don't want simply to have successful programs. No, we want to have a vision of what will bring joy and peace, reconciliation, forgiveness, and fulfillment to those for whom we are called to serve. And so let us look forward with a vision. Yes, we must do things decently and in order, but that doesn't mean that we fail to see the bigger picture, the longer term. Keep your eyes focused on eternity. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you that your vision always leads us past anything we could imagine. And we pray that you will give us creativity and imagination and vision in large measure. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.